Harvey Specter has refused to take a mandatory drug test, leaving me no choice but to terminate his employment. As is his right, he's requested a hearing to dispute this. Thank you, Daniel. But I'm not here to dispute anything. After all, I was high. I was high because I was being forced to work for you. A man who, it turns out, knew CM was negligent before I ever even took the case. Uh, this is not the time. Shut up, Lewis. Don't do this. If you go, I go. Do you deny knowing about the defects? Unequivocally. And you deny writing this memo? Sending it to Tanner, knowing that he would come after this entire firm? That's why he settled. Because you told him it wouldn't hold up. Well, it's wild conjecture. And it's bullshit. Why'd he settle? He settled because I did what I do. That is not an answer. Yes, it is. This ends here. The two of you have now slandered me, which violates the morality clause of the partner's agreement. It's not slander if it's the truth. Unfortunately, you don't have a shred of evidence because the evidence doesn't exist. Well, actually, it does. This is a partner's only meeting. So have Tanner sue me. But in the meantime, I think the rest of the partners are going to want to see this. It's a signed affidavit from Lawrence Kemp stating that he told Daniel Hardman about the defects in the CM Hood six years ago. May 7th was the date of that meeting, per your calendar, to be exact. You just denied knowing anything about that, unequivocally. I guess you were just lying to cover up the fact that you were behind this entire suit in the first place. Is that the basis of this? A coerced lie from a man trying to say, my lawyer made me do it. No way that holds up in court. Doesn't have to. Just has to make these Harvard-educated lawyers understand that you made each and every one of them spend $100,000 of their own money to buy you control of my firm. I think we've heard all we needed to hear. Harvey has admitted to violating the drug policy. All those in favor of his dismissal? Looks like you lost. I'm glad you brought up the bylaws. Fraudulently suing your own firm is grounds for firing. You have no proof of that? All those in favor of Daniel Hardman's dismissal. Hey, Harvey, I know I'm not a partner, but do you mind if I... Go ahead. Nice. Daniel, that $3 million of our money you've spent on yourself, consider your partnership bought out. What was really on that affidavit anyway? What I said was on it. You realize it's a felony to sign someone else's name to a sworn document. I didn't sign someone else's name. I signed my own name. I mean, seriously, how often do you really look at a man's shoes? To the firm of Pearson and kiss my ass. <laughs> I told you we'd be peeling him off the wall. You go, I go. He goes. I already went and came back. So we're clear. I don't consider anything bought out. Too bad. Because the only way you're getting another penny is through litigation. We may not have proof now, but we will. If this comes out at trial, you'll never practice again. Sign this confidentiality agreement. I'll waive my claim. One time offer, take it or leave it. For the record, I wasn't the one who made the first move. Harvey was. Yeah, you made your first move five years ago. Maybe. But someday, he'll make the first move on you. Goodbye, Daniel. Are you going to throw something at me? 
I'll go. But don't kid yourself that this is the last page of the story. <laughs>